Um, so I just wanted to go over, first of all, just again, how widespread Dragon Ball is. So first of all, we're going to go through the games. First thing we have is Sparking Zeros dropping. So, you know, as for old fans of the series, you know, Tenkaichi 3 was what some people's favorite game. And now we're getting a modern version of it. And it's a 3D arena fighter. So for Dragon Ball, going through just games, we got a 3D arena fighter. We have a 2D fighter, which was so popular, it actually ended up in official tournaments at like Evo, which is one of the biggest like fighting game tournament companies i guess you could say in the world so it ended up at evo that's how big fighters was and then we got dragon ball the breakers which is one of the newer games it's more of like a it's one of those like dead by daylight style games which whatever you want to say about breakers like your opinion on it to me it's just cool the fact that we have a different genre like my thing is the fact we have so many genres of games the fact they made a dead by daylight style dragon ball game is just awesome to me and then we have Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, which this is the newest DLC, which I just streamed the other day, actually. But Kakarot is going through, you know, the story of Dragon Ball from beginning to end. Like, you're playing through the anime, basically. It's it's a lot more story-based, but there is a good combat and stuff. Like, it's a fun game. And they just dropped this DLC with the end of Z content. And then we have Xenoverse 2, which that whole game's purpose is to just customize. Like, you can see right here, we got a beast, like, a custom character with beast. You can um, give yourself UI. You can just like customize anything that you want. That's the thing, Xenoverse. Like it's that's it's that style of game where you just customize, make your own character. You can do whatever you want. This is a mod actually because Goku Black with the earring. But you know, the point is you can make your own character and give them like all these different crazy forms. And then next we jump into Dragon Ball Heroes, which is yet another game, but this is actually an arcade game. Now this isn't this is Japan only. It's not over here in the states. But again, that's six different, like completely different genres of game for Dra Dragon Ball alone. All right, I just wanted to cut in right here really quick to say that I actually forgot to mention Dokkan and Legends. So, you know, the two mobile games. So that's actually two more genres of games if you count Dokkan and Legends separately. I guess you can also count them as a subseries of games, which is the mobile game. So seven genres. Either way, that's a lot of genres. Back to the video. You know, we got the 3D Arena, a customization game, the 2D Fighter. I didn't even pull up the Dragon Ball. Let me pull that up right now, actually. He did. I didn't even pull up... Um, I didn't pull up this. Fusion World. So we have an official card game. This is actually the digital version of it. But there's an official Dragon Ball Super card game, you know? Which is also crazy. That There's a whole card game out right now. You can buy cards. Like, even if I got rid of just Fusion World, for example. There is a physical card game, too, besides just the digital one. Like, look, there's all these different cards with all official art on them that look really sick. And you could actually play a whole Dragon Ball official card game. Like, that's seven different types of games for just Dragon Ball alone. And then going outside of the games a little bit, we have a whole Dragon Ball Symphonic Adventure, which is, again, a whole concert for Dragon Ball. Like, look at this. They had a whole concert just playing music from Dragon Ball. This was in Italy. I think they did do a couple different ones around the world, though. It wasn't just in Italy. I don't know if they're doing another one. Yeah, like this one was in LA. So they've done a few of these. Like, here we go. Here's the tour. They added in Paris, Belgium. Like, they went all over the world with this. This was an official concert where they were just playing Dragon Ball music, the whole Dragon Ball concert. And then next, we get into Dragon Ball Daima. We have an anime still ongoing for Dragon Ball. Like, you know, just a continuing anime, which also leads into we had a movie. We had theatrical movies for Dragon Ball still coming up, which are still some of the best selling movies in anime period like superhero i just pulled this one up because it's the newest one but we have that so we have anime movies and a manga that is still continuing ironically it is actually taking a hiatus right now but the fact that we have a ongoing manga is still crazy and then moving into more stuff we have you know an a dragon ball themed restaurant i don't know if this one's official technically looking at art and stuff not being official but still i've actually been to this restaurant too but it's all it's a dragon ball themed restaurant like, think about that. We have a whole restaurant themed around Dragon Ball on, on top of all this other stuff. And then we actually even had a Dragon Ball VR game. There was a whole... It played a lot more like uh, Ultimate Tank Aichi from what I remember. Uh, but it would, no, I'm thinking of Dragon Ball Z for Connect. That's what I'm thinking of. But there was a whole Dragon Ball VR game. Oh, it's on IGN. Like, this was an official thing. Then we had a 4D experience. Uh, again, Japan only. But we had a, two of them. There was one about Frieza and then one about Broly. 
you know, which ironically this came out before the Broly movie. We had a 4D experience where we got a whole new original form of Broly and Goku fuses with the audience. It's great. Like this is God Broly right here. It, it's crazy. Like th this is again, another just uh, original official thing we got for Dragon Ball. And here Goku was in the Macy's parade, you know? Like the the actual Macy's parade. I think it started in 2018 when he started being part of the Macy's parade. We have Goku there. Like this American Thanksgiving tradition. We have Goku here. We had Kameha Khan, which is literally an entire convention purely themed around Dragon Ball. And then we have the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, which was a whole event which you can go in person. Uh, actually this year they only did in person, which you know the best. But you know, either way. They had a whole event where you just themed around the game specifically, where they do like live streams for it. Like, look, this one was in Vegas. Uh, the 20, this was last year's. They did it in Vegas. Too. And like, you can actually go to this event in person, or at least the last few times, not this year, not 2024. Um, but normally in the previous years, you could watch this live. And then on top of all of that, we have, of course, the Dragon Ball official website, which is crazy. We have an official website for purely, like, look, let's go to the home real quick. This whole website is just for Dragon Ball news. Like the one of the last things was, uh, you know, the Kakarot DLC that's on here. We got Daima news. Let's just, let's go to like the most recent news. Hey, look, Dragon Ball Heroes Championship going on. There's another pack of cards out for heroes um there's yeah there, there's the um the, the theme park there's a new a figure coming out. i didn't even talk about the figures we have a bunch of official figure lines coming out uh this was chapter 100 of super and ultra ui goku and legends that's what that's talking about like look at look at all this you can even filter it by just like books talk about the manga uh yeah dragon ball sd was still coming is still coming out Talk about just the anime stuff. So Sandland, Dragon Ball Daima. Like it's obviously Sandland isn't Dragon Ball, but it's a Toriyama creation still, so it's related. Uh figures. Like you could go and filter this by just like, like look, we have all these figures that you can if you just go on this, there's actually an app for this website too, but you can go on here. You just get all this official Dragon Ball news as much as you want. All these little pieces of merch coming out. There's a Shinron plush. New set of uh cards, like a different set of I don't know, sticker wafers. Not, there's new character stickers. Like, there's so much new. A lot of Saiyans fake. Like, there's all of this. And then not to, even, not to even talk about... I didn't bring this up either. Capsule Corp Tokyo. This is probably the craziest thing to me. Capsule Corp Tokyo is an official company that is now handling the Dragon Ball anime and stuff. But the fact that there's an official company that, like, you could go work at. It's called Capsule Corp. Crazy. But... That's pretty much it for me though. I didn't want to make this section too long. I just kind of wanted to go over how big of an influence Dragon Ball has and the fact, like to me, it's so crazy that we're getting a theme park. Like this is happening and hopefully this theme park does well enough that it can even expand to other parts of the world. That would be cool. If we got one like in the States or in Japan, that would be so sick. But I don't even care, bro, because wherever it opens, I'm going to be there. Like this, whenever this opens Saudi Arabia, you know I'm there immediately. Like opening night, I'm like, bro. I mean, we'll see about opening night. But you, the point is, I'm going to be here. I'm going to this theme park. But yeah, that's it for me, though. So thank y'all for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed. And until the next video, I'll see you guys later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.